If you've had your eye on the real estate market lately, or you're considering buying or selling property in the near future, I've got the goods on what's happening right now in this current market and how that'll affect your buying or selling decisions. April followed suit with how this year has been progressing so far, and we again saw growth in sales and new listings, which was great to see. These increases in activity were not only on a month-to-month -month comparison, but also year-over-year. -year. And in fact, when you compare the total year-to-date sales so far in 2024 to the same time last year, we are up 54.9% year-to-date. We continued to see multiple offer situations, a further decrease in days on market. And what that means is that houses are continuing to sell faster and for more money, as well as we've seen every month this year so far. Watch to the end of this video to learn how the current market could affect your real estate goals if you are thinking of buying or selling this year. The total number of residential sales came in at 3,128, which as I mentioned was a whopping 54.9% higher than April of 2023, which is fantastic to see. And sales were also 27% higher than March of this year. New listings came in at 3,909 for April, which was also 11.2% higher than March, which is great because we are in a very extremely low inventory situation right now. So what does that mean? Well, we are in a seller's market still as we have been all year, but now we are at 1.75 months of inventory. And to remind you, in March, we were at 2.15 months of inventory. So this is further decreased month over month. A balanced market sits at about four to six months of inventory, so we are well below that now. What I saw from a boots on the ground perspective was lots of multiple offer situations happening across the board in all categories now, with the caveat being that a property must be appropriately priced and correctly marketed. The sellers that choose to overprice their properties or skimp on the proper presentation and marketing are just not getting the showings. The average price for a home in the greater Edmonton area right now is sitting at $431,000, whereas in March it was at $421,000, and that's when you factor in all types of residential sales. This number has continued to climb, and we are now officially in the thick of the spring market. Breaking it down by housing category, detached homes sold for an average of $530,000, Duplexes sold for an average of $407,000 and townhouses $294,000. All of these categories have increased year over year by 5.4% when factoring in all residential sales. To break it down further, looking at the month over month numbers, detached were up 2.5%. Duplexes remained fairly steady at 0.8% decrease and row housing or townhouses were up 4.2%. Average days on market, so this has decreased again to 36 days. Uh, it was taking 39 days on average for a property to sell in March, so inventory is still continuing to move fairly quickly. And to compare average days on market in April of last year, it was taking 44 days for a property to sell. So what do all of these numbers mean? Well, from what we've looked at here, there is definitely a strong demand in our market and this is influencing how quickly homes are selling and pushing those prices up moderately overall. It's been great to see the number of new listings increase, but the increase in demand um, with that, it's still not quite enough listings to keep up to that increase in demand. And in my own business, I saw a ton of multiple offer situations happening last month as a result of this. So again, sellers, if you've been thinking about selling your home, this could be a great time for you to move. You just need to make sure that you have a place to go because that could be a bit of a challenge in this market. It's definitely not a market to make a lateral move in. If you are in a price range where we're seeing the strongest level of activity, which is under 450,000, um, a property like that is going to sell quickly. And if you're wanting to upsize, this could be very possibly a great market for you. 
for buyers, please make sure you're prepared. This means a pre-approval and a buyer's agent that can help you navigate the whole process. You also need to have the mindset of being ready to move quickly as unfortunately, this market is not giving us the luxury of taking time to consider our options, unfortunately. Being sure, feeling confident, and being prepared are of utmost importance. Unrepresented buyers, you will definitely not fare well in this market, so don't try to go it alone randomly calling the listing agents for showings. Did you actually know that a huge chunk of the listings you are viewing on Realtor.ca are probably already pending? And the only way to know if something is truly available or not is to ask your Realtor. If you have a Realtor, your agent will be able to put you on a live search portal so you can see what actually is and is not pending and you'll also be notified as soon as those new listings pop up so you can get into them quickly and actually give your chance uh, yourself a chance to write that offer if that's what you decide to do. Some sellers are also strategically underpricing properties in this market to encourage those multiple offer situations. So looking at recent comparable sales with a buyer's agent who understands the market will be a very valuable tool in keeping pricing perspective on point. It's always a good idea to take general market updates with a grain of salt and to get an expert opinion on your own personal situation. If that's what you're looking for, I would be happy to connect with you and give you that more personalized evaluation of how the current market could impact your personal real estate goals. So send me an email and let's start the conversation. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.